Welcome to Steph Yox. We are going to yak to another episode of Roast This. This is a reaction of the previous episode, episode 5, which was the best episode so far in this season. So I wanted to do this with you guys. But before we get into that, did you know your daily facts of the day? It is said that the brand name Spam is a combination of spice and ham. Hmm. It could be really, really a coincidence. We, we should already know that, but um, if you do not know that, but now you do. But let's go. Now, we all, like I said in the introduction, we all could agree that episode 5 was the best. No. Let's see if they can top episode 5. There is a echoing in the in the air that says that Dontario will, I, I'm not sure which episode, but he will be a guest in the upcoming last three episodes. I'm not sure which one, but he will show up in this season. So that is awesome. If you guys do not know who Dontario is, if you search up Craig Smith versus Dontario, that is a legendary episode because Craig Smith was killing that episode. And uh, out of all the guests, the, um, other than Dontario and Jay Wheels, rest in peace, Jay Wheels, they were the only two guests that actually hold their own inside the classroom and made a competition between guests versus roast meat cast. So you guys should check it out. It's a episode season, roast me season three. Around the last episode, I think it was close to the last episode, I believe. Check it out. episode of roast this the comedic podcast where we talk about everything in the culture man cp don't shock me like that my boy i'm your host <laughs> brandon lewis i'm never by myself i always got my partners my comrades my amigos starting from the top to the right to the bottom to the left all the way from Athens, Georgia. Well, not Athens. He live in Athens. Well, where you? Yeah. I ain't gonna say where you live at. That's disrespectful. Uh, That's cool, man. I'm a, I'm a dog, and I'm an ATL baby. Hey, no, nah, but he's from Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Georgia. Y'all give it up for Ronnie Jordan because he always blessed and fun. Hey, man, it's that Ronnie Jordan heavy AF comedy <laughs> album. <laughs> That's the comedy album hoodie, man. Y'all get that. Ronnie Jordan is heavy AF in all streaming platforms. Drop the album and the special this year, man. We working. I'm trying working. to be like CP. That's major. Yeah. Next in line, all the way from Sacramento, California, Swagger Mento, where you can catch him every morning on YouTube.com slash I am Doughboy TV. Y'all give it up for Anthony Doughboy Voucher. What up, what up, what up, what it do? I got a little bit of bad news. My microwave went out. I never knew that microwaves could just blow a fuse, but my microwave is broken. So rest in peace to my microwave. That so, bitch was working overtime. That's what the fuck it is. <laughs> Abuse. I didn't know that that shit could even microwave happen. assault. <laughs> didn't even know that shit could happen, but that microwave would look like Michael Jordan after the flu game. That motherfucker just holding on to the goddamn dress. Another burrito? <laughs> uh, uh, another another bag of popcorn? I never knew that shit could happen. I've never had hey. I've never blown a fucking the thing microwave. Is, the thing is, the way that your microwave used to gossip about you to the fridge and to the other stuff. <laughs> like, can I tell y'all something that he did last night? Y'all, because look, friends, he didn't wake you up. This nigga brought home some Taco Bell, we, uh, sour cream and all. You understand me? <laughs> sour cream and all. Next in line, next, next in line, cream. man. Next in line, man, on this wonderful podcast, all the way from Detroit, Michigan, where they say Diddy. 
Yeah, my nigga, Chris CP. <laughs> no, what's popping, my baby? That's what right. you see, nigga. We say, my baby, my baby. Oh, y'all niggas, my baby, my baby. <laughs> and last but not least, he's our baby all the way from Houston, Texas. Y'all give it up for Billy Surreal, aka Billo. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, that's me. That, hey, that's my. That's my. They, they got my name on the hat now. Yay. That's hard. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look. First off, uh, just want to say, uh, Doughboy, uh, R.I.P. to your microwave. I know it went through a lot. Uh, I know how much the struggle must have been through that pandemic. You was wearing that bitch out. All those depression spells, warming up a hot pocket at two thirty in the morning. All hey. the unnecessary shit it did. Hey, Billy. R.I.P. to your microwave. Billy, Billy, <laughs> Billy. His stove was like, leave him alone. He <laughs> going out of your own side. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, CP, but the air fryer was like, yeah, bitch. Who the fuck? Is this? <laughs> Who the top bitch now? Now. <laughs> Warm some shit up now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that hey, nigga, hey, that hey, you know what the stove said, CP? The stove was like, you know what? In all 10 years he's been with Doughboy, never saw any vegetables going in that microwave. Not one vegetable. <laughs> that nigga air fry is a whole city girl. Like, we outside, bitch. Put in some. Hey, man, I got in. breaking news, man. I got breaking news, man. Oh, I'm, shit. Uh, I'm 90% vegan, bro. I'm going 90% vegan. What? Bro. Why, nigga? Uh, vegan. Why? If it ain't 100, it don't count, nigga. It don't count. Nigga. Nah, nigga. What you want that 10% for? Bacon? That nigga got a glizzy in his pocket. Don't listen to Doughboy, bro. Don't listen to Doughboy. Don't do that shit, bro. Why would you hold do on, it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Doughboy. Billy, roll that fucking window back I'm, up, please. I'm muted. I'm muted. I got go ahead. Go ahead. I'm here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm 90 percent vegan, bro. Anyway, Why? What's anyway, the Doughboy. Hey, Doughboy microwave was on the donor list for another plus thirty button. They, they were looking for another plus thirty button for that nigga for the last two years. And he finally let go. They put the plug on him, man. Oh, the fucking ice maker broke down. Cause you know they've been close. They were close for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. <laughs> hold, hold on, I want to know, nigga. What's making this nigga? What's making you want to go vegan, bro? Man, Who told man. you? Who got no, you? Not, he not. saw you one day, like, man, fuck this. <laughs> it just, it just ain't, it just ain't agreeing with my body no more, bro. What or, steak and eggs? Yeah, like steak, eggs, chicken. It's just like it's just too heavy. That's a good like, choice, Brandon. Dude, my digestion, look, look, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. My digestion, it be so heavy, and, it, and it's just like it's every time no homo. Like when I eat meat and chicken, I just get sleepy and it's like too heavy, bro. But when I go vegan, I eat fruits and vegetables, smoothies and shit. Man, my digestion is great, my energy is great. You got a you got a parasite, B Lewis. It could be my brother had one. Your side tooth is trying to eat and free itself. <laughs> <laughs> Walk right into that one. So wait, so wait, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go vegetarian or vegan? Is it different? I'm, I'm gonna go uh vegetarian. You know, you're from Atlanta. Uh, that just means I'm gonna eat vegetables until I might want some Chick Fil A. That's really hey, look, me. that part too. Hey, look, that part. The reason why the ten percent is because of Chick Fil A. Hey, yeah, but, every, uh, vegan, every vegan eats some Chick Fil A nah, once I'm a year. I'm gonna take on. I'm, I'm gonna take on like the Muslim diet, man. You know, just no bullshit. You feel me, like? I feel you. Feel you only, good choice, you know, nigga. Well, no, I mean, good choice. I mean, hey, good. Best of luck to you. You know, I'm, I want you to do it and do it. I today. hate when niggas discourage somebody from doing some good shit just because. Why you don't go? Might... Hey, why ain't no? Hey, hold on, hold on, Listen, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, Doughboy and Ryan are secretly like, hell yeah, more meat for me. More meat for me. <laughs> more meat for me. <laughs> They're like, yeah, go ahead, bro. Do your thing, man. Be nah, because what you start to realize, back. a lot of people do it to lose weight. But what they realize is once they start doing it, they just be eating hella carbs. They be eating hella pastas, hella potatoes, hella bread. And then you gain weight because that's where the weight is. In the so carbs. Why, why, shout hey, out, why would shout you out to the fat vegan. vegan, the fat huh? vegan community. Why would you never go vegan? Because I like meat too much. Like, I just, I do. I just, that's what she said. No, nah, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I need my protein and I don't want to get it from beans and protein shakes. And, and like, I feel like, I feel like I got one of them blood types that needs the iron for meat. You know what I'm saying? Cause some no. people stop, some people no. stop eating meat and then they be like, wow, unhealthy. Nigga, cause you a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga need a fresh kill, goddamn. Well, one good thing, one thing you do have to look forward
I'm not gonna lie, I tried it for almost seven months. Try eating fruits, vegetables, just vegetarian food in general. And I, I kid you not, that's the best I've ever felt during that short period of time. I, my skin felt better, my hair felt better. Everything, my digestive system was smooth, everything, everything about it was a healthy transition. I, I must agree with it, but like the boy said, meat. I like meat too. I don't know if I could actually cut out meat 100%. I love chicken and everything. I love turkey. I don't eat red meat, but chicken and turkey and stuff like that, I love. I don't consider myself to be a fully, fully vegetarian, but I do eat, I, I eat vegetarian food often, and I do like, I love beef. So those are the three things, beef, chicken, and turkey, that I am okay eating and stuff like that, and white meat. Let me know if you guys ever considered doing vegetarian food and did you like it? Did you enjoy the transition? Even with um, milk and stuff, uh, there's a slow transition to stop drinking milk and go to like um, soy milk and stuff like that and rice milk and stuff. What it is, is that uh, Oreos are vegan. Yes, they are. So you can eat as many of those as you want. Hey, Brandon, I, I First day they found that out. Every fat day got email. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so you can eat as much of that shit as you want. I eat all that shit. I'm a uh, pan eater, wool, whatever that shit is. I eat all the. Like, I eat lentils. Slutty vegan is my shit. I eat all that shit. Them fucking impossible burgers. Some of, the, some of the fake burgers taste better than regular burgers. Sometimes. Yeah. You're, not, you're not wrong. But, but, uh, speaking of cooking and speaking of burgers, uh, Memorial Day weekend. I saw I saw CP that you cooked. Uh, dope boy, yeah. Around, did everyone cook? Everyone get some uh, some good food in for the I morning. Did morning? Day. I, I, I didn't cook. Oh, well, you did a little something. You did a little. I something. did a little something. You know, what I said a couple yeah. little ribs, some chicken thighs, some hot Any links. You know what I didn't do no. I wasn't even on the gram. I was just kind of in the house with it. But I did my thing. Oh, nigga, shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. in the grill. <laughs> I want to hear that. You got to show you some. You got to boil it. some ribs, boil the potatoes, <laughs> put a salad on the potato salad. Then I did a um, I did the beans. I think did you get on that fire or not, my guy? No, I was on the grill. I was on the grill. I just wasn't on the gram with it. Oh, you, okay, okay. I just wasn't on the gram. They ain't trust you. That's what it was. They ain't trust you. You say this is for my family. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share my gifts with yeah. my family. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Yeah, Somebody yeah, said, yeah. Every time you barbecue, the ribs never make it back in the house. <laughs> hey, CP, hey, CP we, got a, we got a law at our house. The rule is nobody can take the gold plates on ribs. You can take anything else, but you can't take ribs to go. You got to eat them at the house. Them shit's high as hell, too. God damn. That's a good, that's I like that. Law. That's a good, like that rule. That's that's a good rule. rule. You didn't put in on hey, what, this, Hey, Billy, hey, Billy uh, what happened to your house, though? Let's talk about what happened to your house. Yeah, how you yeah. Yeah, man. So it uh it had a it condensation uh build up from a, a a pipe that bust in the goddamn uh in in the goddamn bathroom. So you know my my sisters and them, my my daughters they doing their hand in the sink and all that bullshit as hell be going down the sink. Now that bitch done got clogged up, mm -hmm. and then my AC drains into that bathroom sink pipe, and so that shit got clogged up, and it was, then it, it was their hair up, and then it bust. It was their hair billy. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know, you get yourself a full body. You, you can I, knock you it out. Like a full body sculpted ass nigga in the bathroom. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga head to toe with the Gillette in that bitch. Hey, Kadeem, I'll show you the video of the shit. No, I got video. You can touch it if you want. I'll pull up later on if you want, man. Hey, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, what you doing? <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> oh, you got playing. Oh, you playing that? Come out. Nigga, hit that leg. Nigga, hit that leg with that razor. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Give oh. me wine. I need a rose. This thing got hello gorgeous by Mary J. Blige. Soon as soon he wake up, hello gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Bye yeah. bye 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 bye. <laughs> Woo! Nigga, do this part. Do this shit on. <laughs> I won't change my life and put on low slice. Here's the door to let the bitter. <laughs> hey, look at Brandon like that. Cherry lotion go good with some Mary J. Blige, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Cherry lotion. Right? <laughs> cherry, I don't know. Cherry blossom. 
I ain't gonna count it. He be mad. I was your host and your set crew, Terry. Everybody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen to what's the 411 with Grand Poopa and shit. He's like, this nigga, this the first album. Oh, man. Did y'all see the verses? Eight Ball MJG. No, how was, how was it? How was it? It was amazing. It was my childhood. I know I'm jumping into subjects and shit, Brandon. No, all me is handling that. I, I could deem I, I'm a southern person. I know CP, I'm sure, because Detroit is kind of like y'all like a yeah, southern no, ass. Yeah, no, I heard. I Billy, heard all the black I niggas was talking about it. They said at the end of he, he gave the, the, the number at the bottom of the screen where you, where you could get 8X fitted <laughs> <laughs> jerk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ball MJG, that, that that coming out hard, man. What, uh, what's the first one? What's the first one with Mr. Big and all that? That shit came out when yeah. I was like fourteen, bro. So yeah. that's a that was a them, them pivotal years ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six. Good ass music came out, and they got. I like to see them brothers celebrate. They did it on another level, man. I like to see Bum B celebrate their song. But let me play this shit, nigga. He played that murder. How did they do? How did they do Pimp C's verses? Did they just have different? <laughs> they let him play it. He said, "Can't nobody, can't nobody replace the pimp." So they just played his verse, and everybody in the room rapped it. So yep. it was like a Pimp C tribute. His nigga Chico Bean in the front row rapping word for word everything. Oh, that's that's, not, that's okay. dope. That's dope. Two chains. Yo, the... boy, Popeyes that's got up. a Buffalo Ranch sandwich now. I heard about that. I, I just got this motherfucker. He trying he to, but, to you know, nigga, but they, they they discontinued they shrimp tackle box. Oh, some fries. Yes, I don't go, go in there and get some fries. Tell them to get some fries then. Right. Hey, them, fries got a, them fries got an eight-minute limit on them at Popeye. Them bitches turn this goddamn. This case you didn't believe Billy. Oh, God damn. It's because you didn't believe Billy. This is what happened to his spot, man. Shout out to, you know. Damn, uh, Billy. That, that kind of sucks, Billy. My bad, bro. My yeah, bad, you, bro. you seen the video, huh? Hey, yeah. Billy, them niggas told you out the frame, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> But we all, but we all were thinking. Hey, you niggas play you like, boy. Well, you ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> nigga nigga ain't gonna pop out. That nigga got stuck in Atlanta on the layover, didn't he? Shit. <laughs> that was off the Henny. <laughs> nigga got stuck in Atlanta on a lay under. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, don't boy. Yeah. Oh, that's funny, nigga. All right, Billy, when no you boy. playing I, in the morning? I see it. I see it. Dope boy, just calling your name. Dope boy. Don't you want to eat me? Hi. But I feel like I feel like Popeyes is just trying to get an extra fifteen minutes. It's just Dough the boy, same thing. boy, you, you stop acting like sauce you sauce. don't got love for me, Dough boy. Dough boy, don't you want me, Billy? Yeah, I Billy, when you, you flying six tomorrow? More minutes. You got six more minutes on that meal before the bitch turns. Better eat that motherfucker for me. You flying in the morning, <laughs> Billy? Yep, I'm getting there in the morning. Yep. Right. Right. Hey, I'm about to take this bite. Oh, nigga, we don't give a fuck. Oh, well, <laughs> what, B, B Lou, oh. you can ever so kindly let everyone know uh, YouTube and Facebook about to shut down on the ass. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, right now, right now, right now. Attention, attention, attention. If you it's are watching. It's time for the Switch platform. <laughs> switch, exactly. I, I like that. I like, that. I like that. If you're watching this podcast on any other platform besides Caffeine, that's right. If you're not watching this broadcast on caffeine, we are now about to shut it off, shut it down. So that means we need you to go right now to your app store, download the app caffeine, follow all death, and not if you have your boys death, then you're straight. And continue watching this podcast. Roast this every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, and also. Follow each and every comedian on this platform right now at Billy Sorrells, at Comedian Ronnie Jordan, at I Am Doughboy, at Comedian CP, and at Big Bank Lewis. Follow us right now, Caffeine. Run them numbers up so we can continue to give you great and amazing hey, so, content. Somebody, oh. on the, somebody on the Caffeine app said Billy Sorrells got pictures of naked pictures of Dwight Howard in his phone. <laughs> that was so specific. That was just no. so Billy, was so Billy, hey, hey, Billy, hey, Billy, Billy, you eat, eat hella loud, nigga, and that's coming from a fat nigga, nigga. You eat, you eat ridiculously loud. You see how CP hey. was just eating the whole time, and we didn't even notice. You eat disgustingly loud, nigga. You Turn know it. You know it. You the you the nigga with the with the soundproof cheeks. I like but the here shit you eat. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's hella loud. 
Hey, can I get everybody's favorite? Nigga, Ball you just G? getting turned on. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody right. fucking with Ball and G and UGK in this group? Yeah. Hey, somebody I'm said, somebody said you and Tyler Chronicles was gonna be beach ball and MJG for uh <laughs> <laughs> for Halloween. I was like, that's what they, they do that. If they do that, that's funny. Woo. That's hilarious. If they do that, that's amazing. Woo, boy, you on your way. God damn. <laughs> I fuck with A Ball and MJG. <laughs> I, I like I like A Ball and MJG over UGK though. You don't have to pick either one, man. Both could be great. You know what I'm saying? No, they both are great. <laughs> but it was a it's a versus though. Ain't you supposed to pick? Give me UGK. Uh, UGK. Why, come on. What? But well, why do they call it? But well, why do they call it a versus now? If it's really just a showcase, for, they should just call it something else. Like everyone's good. Because when they call it a versus, it, it, it gives you the thought that it's a no competition. Boy, no, boy. You ain't say that when it was Pepsi versus Coke. You, you, you <laughs> let that ride, didn't you? You was all in on, on the Pepsi Coke challenge. I think it was like, but Cherry Pepsi, though. <laughs> 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 Nigga, everybody had them a cold Cherry Pepsi with a Subway sandwich. Don't give hey, a boy, that's no so fire. Hey, a cold Cherry. Hey, hey, hey Cherry Coke. Coke, Coke chill up, nigga. Nah, hey, it's, hold on. It's Cherry Coke. Coke hey, Cherry Coke is fire. Hey, Billy, remember that root beer we was drinking? That vanilla root beer? Ooh, that cream soda. It, that cream it, oh, soda root beer. It got damn delicious. That shit was got damn delicious, man. <laughs> hey, that Cherry Pepsi go crazy, crazy though. Hey, that, a cold Cherry Pepsi, nigga? Uh, ice yeah, Cold CP? Nah, nah, oh, Cherry hey, Cold. Oh, oh, oh. Ice Cold CP? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, my boy. Cherry right. Coke, Cherry Coke, hey, girl. It, they said it's harder to quit heroin than to quit Cherry Pepsi. By the all right, look, all right, right now. Okay, look. Who told you that? You're a doctor? Yeah, Ronnie, hey, listen to me. Right go, now. go ahead, Bill. Go ahead, Get a little overboard on them TVs now. <laughs> right now, we going to name, look, we going to name top five greatest sodas or no 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 give me your no no we're gonna give each other's top five sodas top five sodas right now wait 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 till everybody finish though top five sodas right now starting with Ronnie Ronnie all right I'm gonna go cherry Pepsi I'm gonna go no particular Do order you, you, you Dr. Know Pepper particular. Cherry okay. Pepsi Dr. Pepper motherfucking Tahitian treat okay motherfucking Woo! uh uh what's that shit in Detroit that goddamn uh there you the go ginger, that, no, the ginger ale one what's oh, the ginger? Turners. Verner's from for Detroit, nigga. Mm. Different. Uh, and root beer, root beer. Okay. Like classic root beer. Classic root yeah, beer. It's a classic. This no the IB the one in the real beer bottle, the IBC shit, the one they be selling. Uh, the uh, yeah. yeah, the IBC okay. went a little different. Yeah, you're right. Can I, can I, can okay, Billy. All right, that, that's can Ronnie. I, okay, can... Billy. Let's go. Let's go, Billy. Billy, give me your top five. All right, Billy, go. Woo! Ready? Coca Cola right, glass. <laughs> okay. Coke glass. Let's start with that. Number Coke one, Coke Classic. Is, is a number one Followed thing. by. Sodas. We talk about sodas, Billy. We talk about Coke Classic. We talk about sodas, man. <laughs> Soda. Not okay. that other shit. Not that, uh, yeah. All that Coke, Coke. Now, listen. <laughs> now, now, then I'm going to go to, then I'm going to go on it. I'm going to have to go ahead and get in line. Cherry Vanilla Coke that they got out that they had. That motherfucker. Cherry crazy. Vanilla Coke is Dr. Pepper Cousin. Okay. Hey, man. <laughs> listen. Then followed by okay, AMW cream soda. Okay, you got yeah, a lot of cream in your shit, huh? Hey, I love that. No, hold on, hold on. All, the all the creams, all the creams. Kick all these brother. white pops, y'all naming no black owned. Whatever, go ahead. Wait, wait, this ain't the uh, this ain't Followed the by, followed by, followed by red. Just, just red soda. It, I don't give a fuck the flavor because it ain't always gonna be <laughs> just red. Right. Oh, all hey Brandon Lewis, I got one that I forgot. I don't know if anybody heard of it. It's called Grape Co. It's grape used in Birmingham and shit. It's a grape soda. It's like the it's the best grape soda. Then la then last, hold on. Last <laughs> Fanta Pineapple. Ooh, okay. Okay. That's good. Hey, Pineapple like soda. A bit. I like your top five, Billy. Go ahead. Go ahead, oh, boy. Oh, I I like, now, now, now honorable mention is no, exotic on, wait, pop in the flavor. On, on, Anything Billy, on, exotic wait. pop. Hold on, wait, we're gonna wait. Hold on. Uh, boy. Uh, here we go. Don't here we go. go. All right. Uh, squirt. Oh, number one, we're going to go squirt. Okay. That's fire. All right. Yeah. Um, number two, we're going to go cherry coke. Okay. You heard. Number three, we're going to go strawberry Fanta. Okay. Number four, regular coke. Okay. And number one, Diet Coke. Oh, okay. Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. Diet Coke is the best. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. 
Number number one. Okay. Number one over, over, over regular coat. Hold on, nigga. Hold your on. list got hold hips, on. nigga. Hold CP. On. CP. <laughs> All right. CP. Hey, nigga. Finally, yo, yo, that nigga list with his family. First of all, first of all, a good fresh, a good fresh Sprite. Number one, Sprite. Oh, that ain't my number one. No pick over, but Sprite. Okay. Number two, okay. Fago Red Pop. Right. Number two, Fago Red That's in Detroit. That's in Detroit. It don't matter. Where is that, nigga? Fago Red Pop. Number three, Tahitian okay. Treat. Ooh. Okay. Number four, Crushed Grape. Ooh. Ooh. I like that one. I like that one. Crushed Grape is I good. I like that one. Hey. I like that one. Hey. And then number five, I'm going straight Verner's. Okay, what, I like is that? what is that? What is that? What is that? It's a cream um ginger ale from Michigan. It's Crazy. It's like one of the most famous. It's cream and ginger ale combined. Like, like, nigga, like Verner's ginger ale. I mean, yeah. Hey, you, you could drink Verner's with like some Crown Royal. It is it's a whole thing. It's just nigga. All right, Bilu, Bilu, you tell, I think you told yours real quick. Bilu, you yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go mine. I'm gonna go mine. All right. So number one, so number one, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Georgia boy, so I got to go Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola come in at number one. Okay. Number oh, two, no. like as you said, yeah, number two is uh, ooh, I like that. I like that uh, great crush. I got to go there. I, I got to go crush. I got to go that great crush. A uh, cold, uh, yeah, I got to go there too. That shit hit. Uh, hey, uh, I don't to have freeze that whole thing. Hey. No, you uh, Number cold. three, oh, damn, I got to go uh, pineapple uh, uh minimate, <clears throat> pineapple yeah. minimate soda. Got to go that number three. That's a, wait, that's a soda? Yeah. The, the uh, You know what I'm talking about. The, it's the same one that you got. The Minute Maid Pineapple. You mean Fanta? No, wait a minute now. Yeah. Fanta, Fanta. Uh, that's Fanta, like Fanta, juice, yeah. Fanta, Fanta, Fanta Pineapple. Uh, then number four. Yeah. No, number four, I got to go that cream. Uh, A&W cream. God, it's yeah. goddamn delicious. It's that's goddamn delicious. delicious boy. <laughs> hey, and then number five. Man, what's number five, bro? Oh, I got to go five. I got to go Mountain Dew, uh, the Blue Mountain Dew. Baja Blast, yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, hey, you my nigga, dog. Baja Blast, hey. Mountain yes. Dew, bro. Hey. Hey. Yes. Can I give like, a, you like that? Can I give an honorable mention from a soda that got discontinued? What? Okay. Y'all might be too young for this. Sprite Remix, Crystal, oh. C Crystal Clear Pepsi. I remember that. Yeah, I remember. Y'all remember that shit used to be fire. But since no, we, but you have no we, idea. How that Sprite remix, before. man. Sprite hey, since remix. We, no, since since we doing auntie soda, I remember that shit. Honorable mention, auntie soda. Fresca used to hit a little bit too. Now, okay, Fresca, oh, Fresca. Yeah, you know, we wasn't Shasta. Shasta as a whole brand should be hitting. I fuck with Shasta. You no. know what was going all, crazy all. though? You know what got this this continue that was going crazy? We all experienced that. Shit. I haven't really tried all of the sodas that they talked about, but my main favorite would be. I was a fan of Coke. I love Sprite. I love like that champagne flavored soda, champagne. I love ginger ale. And I love orange soda. Shit, Surge. Surge was fire. Oh, man. Surge was good. Surge was great. Surge was fire, bro. Wasn't that like one of the first energy drinks? Wasn't that like an energy drink show? Nah, it, 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 it just had a bunch of caffeine in it. That shit yeah. had yeah. pop rocks in it. it hey, yeah, Surge was like a Mountain Dew. So hey, y'all remember, y'all remember, nigga, Dude, okay. hey, y'all remember, y'all remember when they said you can't drink Surge because the yellow five and shrink your dick. I do remember. Yeah, and they used to I, say, I, they, <laughs> and they used to say, they used to say that Mountain Dew would make you in, like sterile, that you couldn't have kids. Yeah. Yep, I remember all this. Mountain Dew turns to a redneck, goddamn. Make your credit go down, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, Mountain Dew is like one of the worst things for your teeth, too. Mountain Dew give you meth teeth. Easy. Yeah, that's like honey boo juice. Hey, honey, hey, when honey I, honey I, juice. Hey, gro hey, growing up in high school, white people didn't like you to shake their soda, boy. That beat your motherfucking ass. You shake a white boy <laughs> soda, boy. That beat your motherfucking ass. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, Speedo, this is the second time you said this. All roasted, this is the second time you brought this shit up. Who soda were you shaking and why would you do it? Hey, no, because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you shake anybody's soda, nigga. That's going to get back. You just run up on a nigga like, ah, now take it back. <laughs> you know what get niggas real mad if you shake their drink. Shake their motherfucking ass, B. Lou. But any white person in the comment section, you you know I'm telling the truth. They'll beat your motherfucking ass if you shake their soda. 
That might that's be that anybody, might be dog. Calling, hey, shaking the white man's soda is like calling him a nigga. No, that's <laughs> like it, hold on, let me ask you this. Is that the equivalent of touching a black man's stereo? A little yo. Uh, yeah, I need that. Kind of? Okay. Maybe? I don't know. Uh-huh. Some shit you don't do when you no, get somebody's you should, car. You, you shouldn't shake. You don't any- just touch somebody's shit. They might hey, feel the same way about their soda. You shouldn't shake anybody's beverage they about to drink. I'm just gonna hey, tell you that in life, everybody will beat your ass if you shake their soda, nigga. No, 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 not shaking it like on some like, not like if you hey, like. Let's just say you accidentally bump the desk and they fall over. They piss. Oh, they just, it's like oh, like, not not, not shit. shaking it's... it on some like. Oh, I thought shit. you meant like this no, shit. Not I thought shaking. you meant like won the championship. You dude. said shaking it, nigga. You they said hate shaking. They, they hate they soda the shit. No boy, what you do? How you shake it? Shake nah, nigga, you ain't finna give me on this. <laughs> Fucking weirdo, uh, Kareem. <laughs> Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So, all right, fellas. Well. I think, think I think it's on either we can either review the last episode. We had a lot of clips from last one. They 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 talk about this show this episode being one of the greatest of all time for, for roast. I'm not sure if y'all know that. Yeah, B Lou been cooking, boy. Y'all been cooking. Yeah, B Lou finally stepped out and you know said It was the best episode so far. It was, I must say. I thought the host and was on the hot seat and actually was on the roast inside of it. You know, so it's been a while since he did that. I had a uh, step on my boy CP went down. Yeah, exactly. Baron Davis was there. AD was on this episode. It was a good episode. Boo, Boo lost his mind for about five minutes straight. Uh, it, it was a wild episode, man. So I'm sure we can get into it and pull up a few of these clips. Let's see it. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm going to try to run through as many of it without stopping. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how far we get with that. Uh, Yeah, here we go. And, of course, uh, Patrick was the uh, host of time around. As well. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Roast Me, the show of comedic insults. I am your substitute host, Patrick Cloud. Y'all give it up for the squad. Hey! All right, let's go and move forward real quick. Talk hey, zoom him. in on B. Lou. <laughs> Tell me, you know what to do in that bit. <laughs> uh, he's like, in here in common. I'm sitting in coach. <laughs> so you should know any juice. <laughs> Pap got a social media app called Dick Top. <laughs> <laughs> I look like an Old Testament housewife. <laughs> <laughs> Where's <is> Shadrach? <laughs> Pat, make a dance class for incense. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga got him one. Brandon, the yeah, be, is wet. Yeah, B. Lou still got it, man. He showed he showed himself this episode. Oh, it was yeah, good to see it. B. Lou. Yeah, he it was good to see B. Lou. Swing it. Yeah, he did. All right, here we go. Here, hey, go back out a little bit. Let me see Dope Boy again in them socks. No, 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 all right, hey, go tell them large Mars sent you. Hey, hey, I ain't never seen the jersey stretch that far where the mesh don't even look like it's mesh no more. Hey, hey CP, that nigga stretching the desk. He ain't stretching the jersey. He's hey, stretching the desk. Like he even said, give my brother's ball back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Brandon, Brandon hits at people during roll raids. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, man? Your name be Lou, but your ball will be through. <laughs> Uh, nigga, free safety on the flag football team. Yeah. That nigga got wow. Lincoln pictures of Big U. Yo, boy, looking like down. Ready, set, pizza hut. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an OJ Simpson jersey? Hell yeah. It's a OJ Simpson, you are. Right? Man, that's, really, a, that's, really, that's, that's, a, that's an OJ smoothie jersey. <laughs> I thought Dumb it was OJ. Hey, Dumb Boy still got on. He still got his J's from the from ninth grade. Then he pulled up out the closet. Oh. Hey, that nigga, Jer- hey, that nigga, Jerry just stressed like a laundry, laundry bag. <laughs> like, 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 set your ass up, nigga. That's, a, that's oh. a OJ the Juice jersey. OJ the Juice. <laughs> oh my god! All right, let's see if I can get. Let's see if this is part right. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can skip a little bit. Here, let's go right here, y'all. B. Lou, y'all give it up for Doughboy. Y'all ain't blaming him out. Oh, yes. Did y'all find that now? Y'all give it up for Doughboy. Y'all ain't blaming him out. Oh, yes. Did y'all find that now? Doughboy found a lump on his breast and put it in his spaghetti. Hey. That's pretty funny. That's clever, bro. 
That is fucking. Yeah, that big of funny, boy. That is fucking. They need to show where they was gang and Brent, and Brent destroyed them. That was hilarious. They got they they couldn't control Brent. Brent, I must say, Brent deserved MVP this year. Brent has been consistent. He really deserves it. Good for hey, you know what's crazy? That whole back row look like they up there for a parent teacher conference day. They don't look like they in school. They all look like they up here. They look like after seven, goddamn back there, nigga. Like and and Cut dressed like he he stand he starred in a Michael Blackson biopic back there. <laughs> hey man, all right, and Yo, bro, why you wear that though, nigga? That shit was nigga, that shit's on fleek, nigga. On fleek? on what? It's on fleek. fleek. Man, you oh, when, when Doughboy spell fleek is F L E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> then you only take shortcuts. Baseball, <laughs> <laughs> he plays shortstop. <laughs> he only eats short ribs. <laughs> His favorite rapper is too short. <laughs> he only stars in short films. <laughs> All his lines are full of shortcomings. <laughs> Hey, he knew before everybody was a gas shorty. <laughs> Shut up, sir, fast a lot. <laughs> you only drive an Oldsmobile. You only take shortcuts. You in an R&B group called the Butter Pecan. You in a... <laughs> the Butter Pecan. The Butter Pecan. The Butter Pecan. You. Pause it. Brent, you Brent, came, Brent came you back, bro. You got to, you, with Brent, bro, you got to, like, He'll shoot at everybody. You got a Goku attack, Brent. Like, you know how they be <laughs> Goku be like, doo, 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 doo. like nigga, Brent be like, uh, uh, uh. if you if you stop, nigga, he can be like, ah, is that all you've got, Kakarot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole right. room, the whole room went twice, and he still jumped back on the air. That shit yeah. was amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah nigga, Brent, that shit, boy. That, that's a young killer right there, boy. Nigga, hey, nigga, that's Bushwick Brent. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man. Yeah, bro, I was busy. Yeah, Brent for sure has always been showing up all episodes, man. He's for sure been doing his thing. Hey, we're uh, get in there, Big Lou. I'm proud of you, man. You're kicking ass in there, brother. Yeah. Oh, and the Notch, not. the not, yeah, bro, Notch guy. Him, him, and, and Boo had the greatest. Th- I, I haven't seen anything like it between these two. Dude. Oh man, Notch versus Boo. That's a new rivalry. He's, they kept, they went at it. Hey, 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 them socks did more episodes than you. You like a talking pit bull. <laughs> rah, 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 rah. You strangled a nigga and took dick from him. <laughs> you don't give me a stick, nigga. What kind of life are you living? <laughs> Not, not so ugly, he can scare a hungry bulldog off the back of a meat truck. Hey, listen, <laughs> strategically, that's the worst place to be in on the show. We're not just sitting there. Right in the middle. Because. You can't see who behind, you can't see who getting you. We're not just sitting at the worst seat to be in. Oh yeah, you gotta know the room though. You gotta know your room, baby. Yeah, you yeah. that that seat you don't go to. Hey, Doughboy, boy, where you sitting at is a hard spot too. Cause right there, you trying to look back over your shoulder. Yep. Hey, that nigga K Dub, when that nigga shit hit, that shit be killing them. But when his jokes don't land, they just be sitting. So that nigga said, "You got lost and had to ask for direction." <laughs> oh, sh- hey, B- B- this is probably one of my favorite ones. Of this, of this. I gotta be honest, B- because again, you had never been on this side for a long time, so we were able to see you. Shout out to Brody, by the way, he showed up for this episode as well. I ain't seen Brody in a minute, man. Yeah, bro. I'm the other day, like, man, where the fuck Brody at? Yeah, Brody showed up with this on right about here. Let's do it. Nigga, Nas got four health bars. Nigga, you was dancing in the living my best life. Nah, he only here because he chewed through his leash. Hey, what's that noise? Man, it's daddy coming. T-Rex, you Please don't roast me. I don't got nothing to say back. <laughs> like, nigga, I will, I will join in on anybody roast as long as it ain't me. Yeah, bro, that that knocking on because it came out of nowhere. We didn't had no it idea. It was off a Brandon, Jurassic Park. Claire. It was off a Jurassic Park. So you remember when T Rex used to come used to shake the building? Oh hell yeah, that shit hit. That shit hit. <laughs>
That shit hit. We had no idea. What the fuck is that it's noise? Fire. That's what's fine. Nice daddy coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got Baron Davis showing up right now. Y'all want to go ahead and see? Baron Davis actually did very well, by the way. He's one of my favorite basketball players of all time. I I can't sit and speak that enough, Brad. I wanted to play with him, like him as a kid. So seeing him like on this other side is kind of crazy for me. But hey, man, anyway. he's been roasting his whole life in buses and shit. Yep. For real. <laughs> He looked like Lisa Leslie, brother. <laughs> hey, bro, if you don't sit your Adrian Brolin, look at that bitch. <laughs> look like Charles Oakley had him in a headlock. <laughs> he got his own cooking apron. Yeah. He looked like a manly priestess. <laughs> he took all he took all his fish with the eyes in. <laughs> <laughs> he used to play for the Clippers, now he's screwing light bulbs. <laughs> I didn't even know you could speak. I didn't even know you could speak. Nigga, I thought you was a stuffed nigga, a stuffed dead nigga to me. <laughs> to your move, nigga. I thought somebody had a, had a remote control on your ass. <laughs> Uh, roller coaster jewelry on. Oh, no, not the jewels. Nigga, hey, it was good. Bar- Barrett was not, he, w- he was ready for it, man. He was he ready was for it. it. Yeah, yeah. He was like, okay, I see what it is. Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 was, he was the whole time just loading up the clip. Like, yep, yep. it's going to be, yep. be him. If All them jokes going, he like, yeah, I'm going to take my chances with K-Dub. <laughs> All right. So here is the Boo and Notch matchup that was insane, by the way. I, I'll even, man, this this might be like two minutes. If y'all can look at Boo. Look at Boo sizing him up right now. I'm about you to see it. I'm about to go. Here we go. It's the Old Testament. Man, if I, if I had if, teeth, if, I, if I had teeth like you, I'd keep my mouth shut. <laughs> You got 7,000 smoking dookie blunts. You been smoking crack? Straight crack? Your teeth is blocking. You got a piece of crack right here. Nigga, you drunk water, turn it to beer. Your teeth, you going? Your teeth got COVID. You going? If you, if, you, if, you, if you put your face in a mattress, they call it dookie bed. You going? You going? You going? You should have looked like your mama. You going, boo? First you grab a piece of dookie, then you put it. There you go. You can't. Come on now. Make get a new song. That's what's wrong now, nigga. That's why your album keep flopping. You got another great new song, nigga. You got you call your album keep flopping. You got you never come out, nigga. Yeah, I'm suck. Your teeth look like you got it out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> there, is nothing, there, is nothing, there is nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing you can say or do when when Boo is in that bag. Hey, nigga, Boo, it's just you, you gotta just take it. It's not gonna make sense. He's gonna win every time. Hey, let it go. Huckleberry Finn, blueberry pie, mashed <laughs> food, fist full of fries. <laughs> And then you put you on that summer jam screen, it get ugly, baby. It get ugly. Yeah. <laughs> and then you look at your shoes and be like, you killing me with these on? God damn. Hey wow. y'all. Hey y'all. I got a dip, man. You gotta go? I gotta go, man. I'm 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 hosting that Los Globos tonight. Okay. And, uh, right. I got help my daughters with this little project before I did, man. Daddy shit. Already. I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. You already know. That's what's up. I love y'all bullshit, man. You already know what's up, man. I love y'all boys. I'll see y'all yeah, tomorrow. I'll see y'all uh, yeah, yeah, tomorrow. For sure. For sure. But, yeah. Okay. Right. I'll add your dentist. Okay. All right. Cool. So he added. Oh, all right. Shout out to CP. But uh, we got. I mean, y'all, y'all want to see AD come through real quick, or y'all want to go yeah. ahead and watch some other more topic? I, I, honestly, AD came through, and he uh, the first thing he said to Notch always got me. It was. It was. It was funny. I don't know why it was so goddamn funny. Shout out to AD, man. Shout out to Shout AD. Out to AD. Let's go here. Oh, here he comes. Ten. <laughs> Four rise. Four rise. All the way from Compton, California. Y'all give it up for A.D. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. They go, hey. nigga with some new teeth. <laughs> 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 you love me, Lassie. Hey, 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 hey
Hey, that nigga look like Doughboy with his shit together. Hey, y'all get y'all get up for fat ten. Full rice, full rice. Ad eating chicken and rice. Yo, I just shut like up. Well, shut up, well, nigga, because you can bet. Hey, what do Ad stand for? All donuts. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm against I'm against all diets. <laughs> Swamp dweller. That was it. That's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> We call that nigga yeah, Swamp Dweller, the, nigga. That's nigga, the is. first point, Swamp Dweller. Like not even know, not even not even know that man. I, I didn't even hear Boo say that. That nigga said fat Ted. He said full rise. <laughs> full rise, nigga. Chow down, nigga. That's fucking hey, Who is AD? Who is that? He got a big, he a LA, he a LA dude. He yeah. got, he, he very popular in LA. Yeah, yeah y'all tow his ass up. Y'all don't be giving no mercy to no nigga. Come on in, no, yeah. and sit your ass down, and get this work. Get this nigga. <laughs> Facts. I mean, that was pretty much the rest of the episode right there, y'all. Of course, you can watch the full thing here on Caffeine. Uh, the full episodes here. Oh, Steph reacts. You know I got it. You know I got you guys. And yeah, but uh, oh, go. Ooh, did I lose y'all? Yep, I think I think we did. We did actually. Hold on. He did me with them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, fellas, lost that for a quick second there. Okay. Uh, Shout out to Brandon, man. Shout out to Brandon for producing the show, too, man. You're a great producer, brother. Nigga, the production is a whole yeah. thing, and to know who to put where is a whole right. talent by itself. And I don't think niggas know how much oh, you got how much said. you got in on it. You know, so when niggas don't get put on there, they act like, you know, it'd be like Brandon know a little bit. You know, he act like he that don't nigga, be, <laughs> that nigga know who needs to be. That nigga's like an offensive coordinator out there. That nigga be taking niggas in and out. This is a work of art. You're trying yeah, to make a good yeah. episode. You, it ain't about the person. It's the episode. It's about the fans. What they like right. to see yep. and the level. It's the level, man. It's, it's the level <laughs> that you got to be at this mark or you can't fuck with this. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, shout yeah. out to you, my nigga. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, full, full episode, like I said, it's on caffeine. Uh, Y'all want to jump into some topics real quick? Yeah, oh, yeah. We're doing topics on here, huh? We, t- we, we talk uh, about shit, huh? We, yeah, we try to. We try to once in a while. I guess we can start here. The DL oh, and Monique situation. I guess we're going to start here, yo. I mean, I, I need to know. This is probably something that I have to cut out. So if you guys want to check out the full video for that, you'll probably have to check it out on YouTube or any other platform. But I will cut this section out. So let's go. You know, you guys do a lot of shows, a lot of touring. I feel like, yeah, it's a pretty good panel of of y'all up here to kind of speak on this. They both showed their contracts, though. Yeah, okay. they did. You didn't got to show that part. Cause one of them was like a contract memo, one of them was a contract. But both of them said the same thing. And I, we should be mad at the promoter. The promoter seen Jackie from real. If, if the promoter going to tell you this shit to get you going, man, I really don't think... Uh, we should air shit like this out publicly, but for how, how she feels is a buildup from years of fuck shit that she's entitled to feel. We can't tell a person how to react, never. We can't never tell nobody how to react. But I think it's just for comedy. To me, we are there to, to uplift people and make them people have a better day. People that got their clothes together and, and got babysitters and spent a lot of money just to go see y'all as an event, and they want to be entertained. And this shit is cool, but it's like I, it just it's like your parents going through a messy divorce. It's just I hate it on both sides. It's, it's a heartbreaking shit. Like, damn, bro. Not the OGs, but you know, they shit build up, man. Everybody's human, man. You could everybody can have grace with me. I don't care, man. It might be sometimes I might go off on somebody because sometimes you be right and the response just look crazy, but you can be all the way right though, you know? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta do crazy shit. Sometimes yeah, <laughs> you gotta make a nigga feel you got there. Sometimes <laughs> you gotta damn, brush up again on four, Brandon. <laughs> I don't know. I feel I feel like they're both so solidified in the game as legends. Like that's just a tough thing. And like I, I think to kind of piggyback on what Ronnie said, I think the 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 I mean the uh, promoter 
plays a huge role in this because they're differentiating who is the, you know, the headliner on this. And so depending on who's the headliner might, you know, make it, it might have an impact on certain people if they even want to take the gig. It's, I need you to, I need you to might, clarify something you said, though, boy. I was trying to understand. Uh, clarify piggyback. Oh, Lord, nigga. No, <laughs> no, damn, nigga, I had a good point. Hold on. So, like, what I'm saying is, so I just saying that, you know, she might not have took the gig if she if she's thinking I'm featuring for him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I feel like it, it probably lies in more, I would like to hear what the promoter has to say, but I don't think it should have been handled like this either way. Like, like, like he was saying, nobody wants to come to the show and hear about this shit. Either way, regardless of who's right, nigga, I paid fifty dollars for these tickets. I don't want to hear about the shit. And, right. and real comedians talk about what's on their mind. Sometimes it happens right in the moment, and it's like fuck it. that shit. You know what I'm saying? I so it, yeah. we, you know, we in a time that you know, uh, shock gonna sell harder than positive shit. So the shit mm -hmm. is just is more light on comedy again, and it's like <laughs> I feel like white boys probably do this shit all the time. And probably just don't hear about it. I believe everybody do this shit, dog. I think everybody had these little sassy moments. Actors, ball players, just they get paid more than me. And especially for me, I used to be like, if, especially because a lot of promoters will book like a dude that's brand new in comedy because they got social media presence and they might get paid way more than a veteran. And I, I wouldn't even take them shows like that unless I'd be like, you got to go last. The one who get the most money go last to me. I go, I do it, but I'm going first in that way, you know. So this. I don't concern myself with millionaires' problems, <laughs> so I let them people do that. And, you know, I just wish it wasn't this messy. God damn, you know. <laughs> no, and, and I also and I also understand too with Monique because over the last couple of years, it just seemed like she's been relatively quiet over shit, and then it comes out later. You know, the different people are like apologizing to her, so now she might just be like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna speak on shit." Right when it happens, so you know maybe that's the, the, the case that's going on as well. Yeah, man, it's just it's just ah, uh, it's like god damn it. I think I think we we more powerful together. I know it's some cliche shit, but it's just like when everybody was on that Black Panther Wakanda shit, shit was moving, shit was getting produced. Um, I think us feuding is is big business for somebody else that ain't us. You know what I'm saying? So I think you know I think they'll probably fix this shit, dog. It, it just gotta it gotta get fixed because yeah. I think it's, yeah. This is shit. The shit like this happened. Niggas fall out. Motherfuckers don't fuck with each other for years. Like it's niggas who don't fuck with their real brothers and sisters. So I, this don't surprise me. <laughs> uh, B. Lou, B. Lou, you don't say much about it. Do you want to? Do, we can move on to another subject. Uh, no, nah, I mean it's kind. It is kind of messy. Like Ronnie said, it's kind of messy. Uh, I don't know. It's just a bad. I just feel like it's a bad look for Monique more than DL because. Every time she breaks the news, it's always about her being the victim or somebody doing something to her. And it's just like, you know, she hasn't been uh, in the news as of lately, besides when 50 Cent said he was going to take a shot with her, uh, coming up on some acting. But she's always been in the news for something like this. And it's just like, damn, I'm starting to think because when I, when I seen this, I'm like, damn, you know, Monique, what has she been doing? It's just like, damn, you know, stand up is her last. That's our last real income. And also, boy, it's a point where you're going to feel tried if you got... Wow. And to be honest, she was such a powerful entertainer in terms of acting and everything like that. It's so sad to see the past that has happened during the course of these years to know where she is headed. So I do hope that she is back making movies and everything like that. I do hope that everything turns out to be positive in the end because this is real sad to be honest, in my opinion. A motherfucking Academy Award at your house. Sometimes you gonna feel like, God damn. I, ain't, I'm, I know I'm funny to this motherfucker. Like, I'm asking for this amount. I need this. I need the same respect that men need. You know what I'm saying? So that shit will build up and you'll be like, fuck these niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think... I think I think everybody right, goddamn fuck it. But I think, I, uh, I, let me I, say I, let me say something about this real quick. Cause this this goes back to a couple things. And some of it, man, is like, you know, it's it's a level of entitlement that we have sometimes as comedians, because people don't understand how hard it is to do what we do. And then once we get good at it or even great at it. 
like staying in that position and what you go through, the amount of pressure. Like it's it's not just like I can just show up and not do shit. Like people go to work and they're like, today I'm taking the day easy. I ain't doing shit. No, nah, nigga, you got to go out there. Now we got niggas running on the stage. Now we got. So the last thing you want to do is have your shit fucked with of what you need to be able to perform. Now, for people that's watching this shit at home, this is a different time because never before in the history of time was this many headliners stacked on lineups like that all the time. Yeah, yeah. shit was some yep. uncommon yep. shit. The Keys he was, he was not doing it. So Keys was necessarily when he got on the King Show. Remember, Joe Torrey was on. Uh, was it Joe or Guy was on the fucking tour first? On the guy was on there. Damon Williams was on there. Guy was opening. Well, yeah, guy was opening this shit, and 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 so now you, you know, and then Queens was after that. So like, even with the situation, like when you look at what Monique went through with Netflix, yeah, they didn't want to pay her the same amount of money as Amy Schumer got. But let's think about it: had Monique went and did that little special and took that little money, she wouldn't even been doing the show with DL right now because all her shows have been sold out, and she'd have her own tour. With, with her own shit with nobody on there. Like, these things that you got to understand is like, certain things going to help you for doing, like, for money. Certain shit is just going to be do for the art. And some shit is going to give you more exposure. You hope that the shit that you do, you're going to get some money. You're going to get some good exposure and it's dope art. But you may not get the money you want. You're going to have good art or good exposure. Or you might have good exposure and the money. You know what I'm saying? And the art may not be there. So, I think if I think if a man had Monique's accolade, it would be no conversation with none of this that's shit. A fact. Yeah, I, if a I, man I, had her same shit, look at her stats. I mean, I, I, then you, and then when you got a motherfucker coming out like like with the it's motherfuckers now coming out apologizing to her for playing her back in the day. Like Lee Daniels, she, really she came was out. Right. She stood on what that shit yeah. was, and now. And, Niggas, he really came out like, and said, my Sorry. bad, dog. We was on some fuck shit. So, right. So, it's if like, she now you're going to look crazy still, but it's like, sometimes you be right as fuck, dog. Like, sometimes you like, my nigga, I'm not today. I got time today. Yeah. I'm finna talk about hey. I don't think it's right. because she a woman, though. See, that? that's the she fuck is. shit, though. She when you is. say that, then it's like, ah, we got to go bro, play, they play today. I don't women think women I got to do that, bro. I, I, I don't feel like that was the deciding factor. Like, had I been a woman, had I been a man, that would have been. I'm no, just telling you, if any other comedian had them same stats she had, it wouldn't be none of this. She do got a lot of stats. She does have a lot of stats. She has an Oscar. Okay, but I mean, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to gather. Headline, like, are we, are we basing this off the, are we basing this off the just the supporting actress thing? Because that don't really necessarily mean that you are better. It's the comedian. Academy Award. That shit changed. Yeah, like, see, when I, I, artists, so then I'm gonna say that. plenty of Grammy like, nominated, they money go up immediately. Am I right, Brandon? I, I get when that, they, but that's, that's still like that's they that's, money that's, go that's up immediately. Does that really have anything to do with what you earn? Because if you look at it, DL done done everything, and he got a current show on the radio right now. You're right. You're right. And with comedy, it, none of that shit matter though, dog. Like it don't matter. It's like who can put the asses in the seats. And I think I think you so the question is who do you think is putting more ass in the seats, DL or Monique? I don't know. Oh, you, you, mean, know. you mean it be low? I mean that's the answer to this. You mean it? Oh, no, no, that's just, no, you right. You right. That is a toss up because I think Monique might put more ass in the seats. I think win. Monique. I think Monique could go on tour by herself, and I think she is good. She should. She should have been on tour by herself. I, I think. I think. Yeah. I think. I think. This is what I think. I don't think she is right now, and she ain't. That's why she's doing the show. Cause anybody that could would. No, sometimes they call it got a bag, and it's your price. And I get you that, but then if you if you if you calling to get a bag, like all right, no cap out here right now, right? They just finished right. forty six. Congratulations to them boys too, man. Right? Finish. Let's look at it. Yes, sir. It, without well. without them doing any shows with with uh, D Ray or Duval, Carlos and them was selling out on their own. D rating them selling out on their own. They all headliners. Everybody can't go last. Yeah. And it don't mean that shit. If D Ray go last, he's selling more. Like, it, what's the. That's where it's kind of becomes one of those things where it's like, all right, I know how we came up, but the shit that we doing now, we on some whole groundbreaking shit of what we achieving. Like, so, like, what. You know what I'm saying? It was only so many places you could go see black comedy when they started in the 80s. And that's the conversation they had between those people on the show. Like the No Cap Show Tour, those guys probably are real cool with each other. And they can say, yo, 
all right, you go last tonight, you go last tonight, or blah, blah, oh, we're going to make DC go last right now. I don't know what the fuck you're back there, but when you at that level... When you making that much goddamn money, money, who cares? No, I dropped the side with Billy. Like, we get caught up in the the showmanship and the the way we can be perceived by others. It don't matter if you're first, second, third, fourth, fifth. If you are making that money... You don't have to care about it, you know? We get too caught up in, in looking like you're the best. I think if we do away with that mindset, our community, as a black people, we, we would be ahead. It's like a black crab syndrome where we tend to hold people back because we feel that they can become better than us. So you tend to project your fears onto other people and it can be looked at as you hating on them so we need to do better as a black community You're... <laughs> who can but it, it, ain't, it ain't the same who everybody getting the same amount though you don't know what everybody deal is so no 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 I'm, I'm explaining to you like like when you get when when you making your bread what are you? I, I, there's that. That's what yeah. You don't care where you go. I, I hear what you say. It saying. don't you really don't matter, matter though. Like, nigga, turn the mic on. They cut the mic on. Where is that? Like, what is staying there? They move. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fact. If the money the same, I don't give a fuck what position I go. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's have a good time and entertain these people who paid their money. Got these outfits. You know how many? You know, black people take a lot of money to get us out the house with kids, man. They do. I do not they take do. that shit for granted because I just had to get a babysitter. And my own mother in law was looking at me like, nigga. I, man, man, people, people, people be definitely trying to enjoy their night, man. Because, you know, niggas may not, this might be the only time. He done set up here for a whole month. Yeah, and the for niggas a whole who month. really know, the niggas who really know, you take your girl to a comedy show, even like for a first, second, third date, your, your, your main lady, whoever, the comedian's going to. Yeah. Like, it's going to open a conversation for something. Y'all finna get into after this. And it's usually you pretty much just talk about the show in the car. And you pretty much good. Like comedians begin making babies happen way more than the RB, I think. Like <laughs> nowadays for sure. Nowadays for sure, man. Yeah, man. yeah, man. Uh, Shout out to uh, Desi Banks. I'm going to roll with Desi Banks, man. I'll be at the Baltimore Comedy Factory uh oh, this weekend. But if you just hit me up, man, I'm a, I'm a host. I, Cause you know, man, I'm I'm trying to help the young niggas get it. Like, nigga, you from my city? I'm gonna make sure you the best, goddamn, that I can. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I can do, whatever I can do, me to do help. Man. I just, I, I host. It. I don't give a shit. You got way more people than I can get a hip hop tell. Right. I hear that. So, so I'm here, of course. Yeah, we had pretty much at the end of the show. I do appreciate that conversation because I feel like y'all, y'all, for sure, put a good standpoint on it. I, I, we got another level two can give, so them niggas is at another level, and we're we still okay. like shooting ball. We like hooping right now. All speaking, of us still speaking like of hooping. <laughs> speaking of hooping, who y'all got? Whoa. I got Steph and them. Uh, like I said, Warriors and seven. It's going to be tied, tied. It's going to be tied two two going back to Boston. I do believe. Okay, two and Warriors. No, it's going to be tied 2-2 going back to Golden State. But um, I have Warriors in seven. It's going to be close. I can't, I can't, State I can't to shoot their lights out. Listen, because I'm from Sacramento and I always hated the Warriors, I can't root for these niggas now, so I'm going for the Celtics. Celtics okay. in seven. I No, I lie. Warriors in seven. My bad, my bad. I think this is going to be an epic championship. Okay, okay. Uh, Doughboy got his in. Vila, who you got? Damn, I like Tatum. Tatum showed me Tatum showed me that dog yesterday. He did, he did. And, he uh, went crazy, bro. Tatum, I mean, not yesterday, but Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Tatum showed me that dog. And, uh, you know, I, I do want to root for the underdogs. I just think it's going to be tough. I, I got Warriors. Got Warriors. It's gonna, it's gonna be tough regardless. We know that. We I only watch basketball as much as I should, but I cut it on. And Steph Curry close a twenty point gap quick than the motherfucker every time. Like every time, tired. So and they be down what? seventeen. Then they be. You like God damn. What do y'all What do y'all think's gonna happen 
once a number one offense is going against a number one defense. Like here's here's the thing though, though boy, they both number two defensively. They're both one and two defensively. Like this is Jesus, the first time that's and gonna be crazy. This, this is the first time in NBA history that both teams have number one and number two defensively hey, man. have made it in. So hey, man, this playoffs wow. has been the best. This is some good ass basketball. Like it got me back watching basketball. Like I, I think I had I was yeah. off sports in the pandemic. So yep. these, these niggas are hooping like they mama outside, like it's AAU finals. And, like, they, <laughs> and, and Billy, Billy, like you said, you also said uh, you going. You got, you got Warriors, Billy. Warriors, Warriors. Okay, I just want to get everyone's answer. Go ahead, go ahead, everyone. I yeah. think that this also marked the death of the super teams because yes. all the teams that did good, like they did that shit organically. Even the Warriors, they're not still that same juggernaut. They made a bunch of like like small additions and subtractions to make this new version of what they got, and I think that's better for the league to not have the. I can admit that that super team era has the door has shut or not. I think we will be seeing a lot of evenly basketball, evenly pair of superstars together instead of three superstars on one team. But you know, there's always going to be that what if factor. And I do think that hopefully somebody comes along and do something different. You know, everything changes. But um, as a LeBron fan, I can admit that <laughs> it has changed, and I don't. I I will be surprised if LeBron wins another ring. But if he don't, his legacy is already cemented. So I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. He stacked ass rosters that just run through everybody. Yep, Ky- Kyrie. They gotta play Kyrie basketball and, together. They gotta, they yeah. gotta play basketball together. It is Kyrie, KD, and James Harden killed that whole thing in Brooklyn. They destroyed the whole idea of a super team. What happened there? So yeah, you are right and about how, that, bro. How and how and how ironic is it yep. that the finals that we're having right now? Yep. Are 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 from the teams that, that KD. And Kyrie, Kyrie played that. It's crazy how this worked out. You left. You left the Warriors. He left the Celtics, and that's our finals. That's our finals now. A few years removed from that. But yeah, yeah, big man, that's toxic, crazy. Big toxic energy. I like it, though, boy. Yeah, I like it. it really yeah, is. it's wild. <laughs> oh, man. And it's funny how the <laughs> I find it's it funny. Used to play I find it funny. <laughs> All right, be the one to finish off. Yes, sir. And that's been another episode of Roast This. But last but not least, before we... Oh, my God. I'm sorry, my kids. Shout out to my daughters in the background. But last but not least, before we let the episode go, we always let the people know what we got going on and where we going to be at, man. Starting with Ronnie Joy. Let the people know, man. I'm going to be in Baltimore this weekend with Desi Banks, man. Come check us out. Me, Alton, uh, Alton um, um, Desi Banks, me. Official Blessed Day of that comment. I just dropped the buckets for the summertime. You can get your goddamn. Anything got an old school BMW, you know what I'm saying? Lean on your car with this, and they'll walk straight up to you. I'm telling you telling you no lies. All right. All right. Don't boy. What you get? Yeah, y'all can, y'all can check me out every single morning, Monday through Friday, at the Morning Cup of Dough Morning Show. On my uh, I am Billboy TV, either on my YouTube or my Facebook, and you can catch me uh, June twenty second. I'm headlining a show, Ontario Improv, Doughboy Jokes and Jams. Make sure you check me out. Hey, that's fire, boy. Billy, let's uh, give it up, no, man. Billy, some rings. Man, you know we out here finna get all this money. You know what I'm saying? So it's happening, man. Make sure you tune in to me, youtube.com backslash business real. Shout out Ali Siddiqui. He got his special out on the plug. Man, in, uh, the Domino Effect. Crazy. Domino Effect. Comedy Clinic. <laughs> so All go right. and check that out. And uh, youtube.com backslash business real. There you go. Follow your boy. Yeah. Hey. Hey, last but not uh, least, last but not least is Brandon Lewis, man. Follow me on Instagram. Who is Brandon Lewis? Shout out to my daughter, man. She wouldn't let me be great. Uh, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> who is Brandon Lewis? Get the reason why you're great, Bilo. I don't got no, I don't, I don't got nowhere to go this week. I'm off on being LA doing my thing. So if you see me out, my site was up. So, uh, follow us. Uh, follow us on Caffeine and Tune in every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, and we are out. Say bye-bye. Out. Man, I'm going to be in Richmond, Virginia, too, Sunday with Jay Ski. There you go. All right, we cleared that, fellas. We cleared that, fellas. Good job, y'all. Good job. We're going to finish that one off. Good job. Yeah, I know you're going to end. Video on.
awesome video. Awesome video. Awesome. Yeah. My thoughts on the video is that I am glad that we are at a point where we feel comfortable enough to express ourselves. But then, that's a good start. But however, it shouldn't affect us. It shouldn't stop other other people from getting money. Like, we still have to support people. We cannot. Well, I I do hate the fact sometimes when you want to praise somebody, you have to bring someone down. I don't I don't like that. Two persons can be great at doing something. It don't it don't matter who have more views or who bring in more people to to comedy or or something. If we all are in this together for one goal and one purpose is to make people smile, make people laugh, we all can accomplish many things great. Uh, we, I think we get too caught up in the the leader or the aspect of who is leading or who is in charge. I think that blocks a lot of blessings for people if we if we just get away from that mindset, a lot of things can happen for us. And other than that, I do appreciate episode 5 once again. That was a classic episode. I'm glad they was able to show the different versus battles between Notch and Boo, between um, Baron Davis and the other Roast Me members. I do appreciate that. Uh, the episodes, whatever have you. I do, I do hope that episode six, seven, and eight be an epic one. Like I said, Ontario will be a part of one of the three episodes, so please be on the lookout. I will post the episodes when they are launched. So please put put the notification bell on and please subscribe to the channel. This is your boy Steph Reacts and I am out. Thank you guys.